All right. Well, first, before we get into your company being here, I need to ask how your time at TST has been so far and how, uh, how it's been seeing Swansea so far. Yeah, it's been a good activation, I think, for us. I think the football hasn't gone quite as, as planned, but I think we, we were close in quite a few games and stuff. So, you know, we'll see. Fight another day, I guess. I guess that's where we're at for this year. Now, for you to be able to combine your company, AU Vodka, with a sport that you love, soccer, yeah. how amazing is that for you to be able to, to be doing that here this weekend? Yeah, it's a great feeling, obviously, you know, being a Swans fan all my, my whole life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this, the, our company's based in Swansea. We've got, you know, we've got our warehouse, which well, our forklift driver's here playing in the team, and he's probably one of been our star player. We've had um, one of our goalkeepers has been, you know, works for you too as well, and I've managed to play myself as well. So we've managed to, you know, bring some good players from our own our own company as well, to be fair, to be on, alongside on the team. Now, your name first went viral because of what happened years ago with Hazard, right? Yeah. But... I saw that you said that a big motivator for you to make this company a success was for your name to be rebranded into something different so people would think something else. Can you expand more on that? Yeah, I think so for me it's always about not being known just for the hazard incident. It's like it's something I'm like probably pretty proud of and something, you know, which is always going to be attached to, to, to me and Charlie Morgan, but I think it's it's something from big driving force for me is making sure that you know AU is a big brand and I'm known as the guy who created AU not just the the ball boy incident you know so you know it's, it's going quite well so far but you know still a long way to go um, in our journey so we're gonna see how how big we can make it in America first um, you know and see how that goes well based on posts that I saw from earlier this year it seems like the two of you are chill you guys are, are, are homeboys at this point now yeah yeah I think so yeah I think I think I went over to Spain and Matt and we obviously did a photo shoot with with AU, played a couple of game, games of golf and different bits to be fair, but you know, he still messages me, WhatsApps me now, he's you know, he's a lovely guy. He's just living at home with with his five kids in Madrid now, so yeah, he's uh he's chilling over there doing his family life. But yeah, what a what a good guy and you know, good sport for uh doing doing that and linking up with us to be fair. I think we're we're planning another round of golf next year to be fair on the anniversary, so see how it goes. He's getting into it and I'm a little bit better than him, so giving a few tips so but yeah, I'm not better at him at football yet. But golf, I think I can beat him out at the moment. So I we'll see. Um, so you have a connection to Swansea. Of course, you got the kid on here. Yeah. Um, you know, considering the way that Swansea finished this year in the league, what do you think is in store for them next year? I think, you know, it looks it looks exciting the next couple of, couple of seasons. I think, you know, I think the guys wasn't the best season we probably ever had. But I think, you know, we got a good chance um, next year. A couple, couple of signings, I think, I think, you know, we'll be a bit better next year. So let's see. Couple signings you're gonna you're gonna sign for Swansea next year maybe not, probably not me to be fair probably not me <laughs> but I think I think we need someone a little bit better than me but we'll we'll let's hear how it goes. Um, now the Euros are coming up. I'm gonna yeah. end with this one. Euros are coming up. Who do you have your money on uh, on winning it all? It's a hard one, and obviously I'm a Welshman, so it's hard. I can't, I can't really pick England in that way. So Portugal is probably the, the team I think could could be a bit of a bit of a surprise surprise win. So let's see how they do. All right, well, you heard it here. Portugal, if they win, he called it here. Thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you.